this is a ventricular action potential. You start off in the negative here, notice that. And those of you, might, some of you might notice that it's that very negative membrane potential. And then it reaches a threshold, and then it starts opening these voltage-gated sodium channels. So when it opens these sodium channels, what happens is that all the sodium, remember you start off with more sodium on the outside, less sodium on the inside of the cell. Sodium rushes inside the cell, causing depolarization. The positive sodium ions are going to make the membrane potential and overall charge inside the cell jump toward the positive. Now what happens next? So actually I don't think the, this figure in the open stacks, I have to read it again, but I don't think it actually mentioned that at this point, in this figure it actually doesn't mention that at this point, potassium channels open. So remember, when potassium channels open in the pacemaker cells, the potassium ions left. So when they leave, the potassium ions leave, this is what we call efflux. Oh yeah, so actually influx and efflux flux might be new vocabulary words. So influx means going in the cell. Efflux, you can think of like the something exiting the cell. So influx in, efflux out, exit. Potassium is leaving the cell, therefore it's going to drop toward the negative side. Now, this is where it's different from neuronal action potentials and where it's different from pacemaker action potentials. It hits a little ropes, rope to, it hits a little bump in the road. Now these slow calcium channels open. So when calcium channels open, remember we have more calcium in the extracellular fluid, so calcium is going to trickle in. So when the calcium starts to trickle inside the cell, it's going to make it more positive. Now, this is why I make a big deal. Calcium channels are open, but so are these potassium channels. So what we have here, positive is ch channel or positive ions are moving out of the cell, but positive ions are also moving into the cell. So positive is going in, while at the same time, positive ions are leaving the cell. So yeah, that's why you see this plateau. It's gradual because you have positive ions moving. These ions are still moving but the overall charge is kind of being counterbalanced. So the potassium and calcium are opposing each other. So this is why this plateau, it's not completely flat plateau, but more, as someone said in chat, more gradual, it's a slowing down. If you didn't have the calcium, this potassium would drop like a rock. But at this point right here, now the calcium channels are closed. But this is a very important point. The potassium channels are still open. Calcium is done, it's closed, but potassium is still open. And remember what does happens when potassium leaves the cell? Membrane potential drops toward the negative. So this is what we call repolarization. Potassium channels are still open, but calcium is closed. So with all the potassium leaving without having calcium slow it down, all the potassium leaving can cause the memory potential to drop toward the negative again. Wash, rinse, and repeat. So that is a ventricular action potential. That's why I start off with pacemaker versus ventricular action potential.